Hey guys, how you doing? So Microsoft made some huge announcements today. This is Tuesday, May 20th, with regards to their AI integrations and efforts. There's some major bullet points. So you got GitHub Copilot is going from an in-editor system to a fully autonomous coding agent. So you got Copilot tuning, a new local capability in Copilot Studio to train models and create agents using company data. All agents can now be integrated with Teams in Copilot and much more. There's also Grok implementation. That's um, Elon Musk AI model. So a Grok is being uh, integrated with Azure. And there's also Windows enhancements in terms of AI. So what we're seeing now, and you can go look up the details. I just wanted to give you a high level understanding of what's going on here. So as I'm talking about more and more and more of a new development paradigm is coming about, it's agent-based, AI-based. And I think there's going to be a big, huge opportunity for developers, especially for early adopters. Just like the first React developers did really well, the first uh, iOS developers did very well. People will get into the AI space. Uh, that's where the action is going to be. I actually believe that those who get into this space, who understand how uh, AI is integrated with it and the Microsoft tools, how AI is integrated with uh, Docker and its tool sets that it provides, you're going to have, uh, it's going to be like React was when it first came out. It's going to be like iOS developers when it first came out. So there's going to be a lot of job opportunities. So in a broader context, yes, AI is shifting now. The development world, we're in a transitional period, as I detail in other videos, meaning we're, companies are starting to look at uh, new technologies, well, the AI stuff, and they're starting to see how that could be integrated into, to, into their workflows. So there's been a freeze on hiring because A, they're getting a lot of productivity just with AI code assistance. But once the dust settles and they start understanding what they can do, because there's a lot of new use cases in the AI space, developers are going to start being hired again. But they're not going to be hired as React developers necessarily or PHP developers. They're going to be hired as uh, agent, agentic agent AI developers. I've been looking at this now for the last little while, and there's a lot of complexity there. Like, it's non-trivial. Like, you're not going to have somebody's grandmother walking in and became, becoming an, an agentic AI developer. Not the case. You still have to know your fundamentals by the way. Like, you're not going to be able to develop web apps with agentic AI, at least not for a foreseeable future, uh, at least several years. And, uh, until you know, you have, still have to know your basics. You have to know what the server and the client is. You have to understand the request response model. You have to understand the basics of the language. Like, the way... Agents communicate with each other through something called MCP, which is basically a JSON objects. You got to know what JSON is. You got to know how to be a conf conf configure all these things, uh, databases. So there's there's a ton of complexity. So the reason I bring this up over and over again because I want people to understand your jobs or the job rather of a developer is not, uh, in my opinion, at risk at least at this time. Maybe in two years, maybe in ten years, who knows? But I think it's just shifting now. I think my best guess is just going to shift, just uh, like jQuery and vanilla JavaScript developers, when React came out, they saw that shift, right? Now, don't make the mistake, though, that a lot of young nerdlings made when React was uh, the big, growing, powerful thing. It's still qu quite popular, by the way. Don't make the mistake they made where they just jumped into a React bootcamp. Or, a, uh, or just took a couple of React courses and assumed that they're going to be good enough to get a job. No. What they discover, a lot of them failed, and I spoke to a lot of them because they didn't understand the basics. They didn't understand the fundamentals. You know, with React, it's making you basically a hyperproductive JavaScript programmer, but you have to know JavaScript to use React. And when it comes to all this uh, agentic AI development and stuff that Microsoft is announcing and uh, Docker is announcing and several other vendors, you still need to know your basics. So you want to get into that. So I have a learning SaaS at, or teaching SaaS, really. It's called Studio Web. And lots of schools use it. Lots of institutions use it. And uh, it's been around for years. I think we, re we rewrote it from scratch maybe f five years ago, six years ago. And it's a pretty static code base, but we recently had a bug creep 
into it. I think it was just corrupt data. I don't know. I have to see what my lead developer found. But here's the thing. And there's a few other little bugs. How do bugs creep in when you have a static code base, by the way? Data can get corrupted or some uh, third-party library that you're leveraging gets updated, which misses things up. Uh, if it's a web app, your browser, the browser updates, which could mess up some of your client code. It's all kinds of little things. You never know. Anyway, so the question I have is how do I get AI in there to fix these things? Number one, you know, I've been doing this for a while. It's not easy. It's not easy. Number two, how do you get the AI in there to monitor for bugs, right? I was able, well, not me. I, we were able to identify bugs because users told us, hey, look, what's, this is broken. Now, I think to myself, how are we going to get AI to be in a position where it can receive these requests? Even though the AI is getting super powerful and capable, it, uh, just getting it integrated into existing systems uh, is not trivial. It's going to take a very advanced developer to be able to figure this stuff out. To set up new stuff, I would imagine, would be easier. Uh, but still, it's not trivial. It's not trivial. You have to know what you're doing. So to conclude, this AI-based development, the agentic stuff, the agent-based development, MCP, all this kind of stuff, very powerful, very productive. I advise you get into it. Again, I predict that there's going to be a boom for these types of developers. Don't get me wrong. I think traditional development is going to take years to fade uh, years to fade because uh, it's, 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 it's a big complex job to integrate AI into uh, legacy and there's so much legacy out there. Keep in mind, there are people still, uh, big, huge institutions are still running mainframe systems based on, uh, I forget the language all of a sudden, COBOL, right? So, you know, I wouldn't be having uh, any heart attacks about the job opportunities. But if you're younger now, I would say, Learn your fundamentals of coding. I do web stack. I think the web stack's best. You don't have to become a master. Just understand responsive websites, request response model, server client, basics of databases. Relational databases is the most important one. It's just because it uses, just because it's so widely used, rather. Learn one or two programming languages. Just fundamentals. JavaScript, Python are my two top choices. Number three, PHP if you're going to go uh, freelancing. PHP is dom dominates the freelance space and it will for the foreseeable future. The last people are going to be implementing all these AI-based tools in, deep into the heart of what they do is going to be the small businesses because it's, 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 it's non-trivial. It takes a lot of work. Anyway, there you go. You should check it out. Microsoft just did a big deal with Grok in their announcement today, amongst many other things. Jump into it. And I can't guarantee a job, but if you train yourself properly or get trained properly, you jump into this space, you're going to do very well. As I did when the web came in, and the web was the disruptive technology, I didn't look to learn thick client development in VB6 and 5 and C++, even though there were plenty of jobs. There's still jobs in that. I went where the, the action was, and that was the web space. So that's what I recommend. Get into the web stuff. Check out the Microsoft announcement and uh, more to come. I'm Uncle Steph. I train people in the ways of software development. I have a mentoring program which teaches you the crucial fundamentals of development. We have bi-weekly coaching calls. Uh, we're getting into the cutting edge stuff. A lot of our discussions now is about AI development, is leveraging AI. That's the future, but you still need to know your basics. You still need to know how to write this code. Uh, to a certain level, at least. The good news, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry too much about algorithms and advanced data structures. Any, any good beginner's course is going to teach you data structures anyway. Yeah, so you can check out uh, links below for uh, my mentoring program or my standalone courses. One of the most important skills, by the way, is to learn the soft skills. The soft skills, the ability to communicate, the ability to communicate succinctly and clearly, uh, that's going to be huge. So uh, the foundations of that, of course, is understanding your visceral brain, your lizard brain. I got a course called Lizard Wizard down below. Help you with, out with that. All very practical. 
All right. Uh, that's it. Cheers.